All right, how everybody doing? This is Ed, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to give an update on how I am setting up my Ultimate 12 HD, basically the connection and the workflow when it comes to using my Blackmagic 6K Pro and just the whole setup. So y'all saw what I did last time, that works as well. This way is a lot smoother and you can kind of choose your own. So uh, let's start and get right into it. Um, ultimately, I'm going to be using the back of the box as a good reference as well to help y'all out. And let's just look at this setup. So let's see where we start. All right. So we're going to start. I got an HDMI coming out of my Blackmagic camera. This is 6K Pro. You see, I have my Ursa Mini Pro G2 over there as well. You can use that setup and just have an SDI running out as well. But I'm going to show y'all. So here, as far as the 6K Pro, you're going to, since it's HDMI, you're going to have to run it to a, a micro converter. And I'm basically running it to the HDMI in port. And I'm running it out of the SDI out. You can see that. And that right there is running into the back. And if we look in here, it's basically the camera foreground. That's what I am running. This first SDI cable line is running to that camera foreground. All right. Now, I'm also running in my computer. I am running the DeckLink 8K Pro. Now, when we look at where that is in the back, we have this setup right here, this SDI. That right there is the background. So that's the background. You'll be able to see that if you lift up this. I know I'm trying to show y'all. But that's basically going to the background. Now, in there, that is running to the back of my computer. See if I can get back here. Excuse me. Sorry for the shaky cam type things. If you notice, this is my Decklink 8K Pro. And I am running to output. Basically, that's four. That's number four on the Decklink. On the top, you see I have my duo. You can do the same thing if you wanted to. So if you had the duo and it was, uh, you know I mean? The duo is definitely a little cheaper than the Decklink AK Pro. So you can have that SDI go into there. Regardless, it's just how you configure it and set it up. So now that you have that there. So, and um, then you're gonna have this, which is this SDI cable. This one right here on the box is the monitor out. So that's the monitor out right there. And the monitor out where I have that running through is back in, SDI in. Now the reasons why I am doing this is because I want to connect it up to this TV monitor right here. So I'm running it back to the converter and that's going into the SDI in. And then when it comes HDMI out, that's that signal that's going to the HDMI out, and this runs to the TV. Now, if you have a separate monitor, let's say if you wanted to run two, what you can do is you can get yourself one of these HDMI splitters. This I got on Amazon for like 20 bucks, and it works, and you can basically connect that HDMI out that would come into this, which would split into two HDMI. So then you can be able to run an HDMI to your monitor and to your TV. So that's just something if you wanted to have multiple monitors and then you can kind of go for. Uh, so you have this connection right there. You already know that this is your feed as far as your ethernet cable. That ethernet cable is going to run. The way I have this set up, it's running into, I have a Netgear port right here. So I have my ports, you know, you can have your your modem and all of that good stuff. So you're gonna basically run that to that. As you see, I do have a Vive Mars cam track. I'm not gonna really talk too much into that right now, but I'm running into the Aja and later on after this, what I can do is I'll show further just if you wanted to connect things up, but we're gonna to stick to just this setup for now. But if you notice, that's all I'm running. So you basically have those two SDIs and this one SDI. So I only have three SDI uh, ports being used on this Ultimate 12 HD. And as far as my deck link, I'm only running, feeding one. Now, if we see on top of here, this is my Unreal Engine project. And we see that the way I have this thing set up there. And um, 
that's the initial setup so we can go start looking into um, Unreal Engine now. So now that we have this setup, I'm gonna basically start showing y'all as far as the setup goes, how you're gonna basically bring this all together. All right, so now we're in Unreal Engine. We can see that I basically start off, I am running this off of this Camera One Vive. So I set it up Vive because I have it connected to my Vive tracker, but that's later on. I just really want to show you how I'm sending this feed out. So if you look here, I'm going to basically do these things from scratch. Um, but I'm going to have these here. I'm just going to kind of do them on the side. So what we do is I'm just going to create a new folder. And this is just going to be called Tutorial. And inside that tutorial, I am going to make a, the same things that I've done here. So first, we're going to right click. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to media and we're going to go to media black magic, black magic media output. So there. So what I'm going to call this is tutorial. We're going to call this output and I'm going to put four because remember I showed y'all as far as the deck link goes, I am running this one out of that SDI. I'm, I know I just double clicked on that and then it opens up this. And if we go in here, we know that we're running this four to there. You want to make sure that you are running the same as far as I'm running 1080. And I know the output is a 24 frames a second. And I'm going to hit apply. And then on here, you're going to have all of these signals. You don't need to worry about anything else as far as that. I would, I would, if you wanted to, you can go, this is like output. I usually put this at VTC. VITC, then you can have 10 bit because you know what I mean. You're running that. If you want to output audio, you can look into those things as well. So I'm going to output that and I can close this window. Now that we have that there, that's our output. All right. So then if we go into our composure, you see I have these uh, set up here. These setups is you got a main comp, you have a CG element. Um, before we go through, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically walk through some of your project settings that you should have set up because this is where I kind of run into some hiccups or you might see some blue screens, things like that. So uh, give me a second. Let me set this up real quick for y'all so I can show y'all. All right. So now that we're in here. What we want to do is we want to go through our project settings. Now, mines are already going to be set to this because I'm kind of doing an overview, but these are things that you want to look into as well. So first off, what we want to do is we want to make sure that our dynamic, uh, basically global illumination is turned off. So you're going to go into project settings. You're going to type in dynamic. I can't even spell right now. Don't get me wrong. Let me put this in there. Global. So right in here, dynamic global illumination, you want to turn that to own to none. It'll probably be on lumen. You want to keep that on none. What this does is when you actually going to be doing these steps to get things going, you're going to come across the screen probably looking a little blue. And this is going to clear some of that up. So you're going to have that. Then from there, what you can also do is you're going to come in back into your basic setup and you want to type in um, the basically exponential height fog. So let's just put um, fog in here under lighting. So you got your exponential height fog. Now, this is if you're seeing this, what you want to do is you want to go to fog scattering. So I'm going to show you all where that is, whatever, right there. Fog scattering color. Most of the time, this thing is like blue. And you can go through and click that and adjust and basically dial things in until you get rid of that blue. And that's what you're going to do there. And you can basically go through and change that. Now what um, we have that stuff figured out, let's go through our media composure. Or our composure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new of these. So we're not going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show y'all up here. So you see up here, I have that on. As I click it off, our screen is back to black. So we just lost. We'll take that CG element off. And basically, if we open up our Ultimate 12 
basically the software controller. And we go down here, we go to foreground. We can see how this foreground turns green. If we click it, it turns black. And then we have no basically background input coming in because if we turn these on, this is our background element, right? So if we hit composure, now we will see our background element. And then if we go over to ultimate, we go to program, we added basically our, basically our camera footage in there. So I'm gonna show us how we set those things up. So now that we have this, I'm gonna turn these off like I said. So these things are turned off and we're gonna create a new one. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna to go to create new comp. And I'm going to put in empty comp shot. Now for this, what I'm going to name this is tutorial comp. Just put it for that for now. All right, and then we're gonna right click on there and we're gonna add layer element. And that layer element we're gonna do is a CG layer. We're gonna add CG layer. So if we click that down, we got CG element two. I'm gonna rename that because I don't wanna make sure that I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm using a project that I've actually used. So I wanna make sure that these things are specific. You can name it what you want. So we got tutorial CG element here. All right, so now if we go to tutorial comp, these are some of our settings we wanna make sure that we are looking into. Tutorial comp, if we go down here, let me kind of raise this up a little bit so y'all can see. We got our inputs. What I wanna do is I wanna input the camera that I'm using. Like this one I'm using right now is the camera one Vive. So I'm gonna put that in there. All right, so we have our camera one that's in there. Now we're gonna to go to our outputs. We're gonna basically, um, in there we're gonna add. So we got outputs, we're gonna add an element. We can leave this all the same. We're gonna open up the output pass. And now we have this. How are we gonna capture this output? We want to be able to connect up to our new, this one right here. I'm gonna connect that to there. Now I'm gonna lift this camera up if you see right now on our screen, this is our output. Right now, this is that element that I just added. That's our background. But we don't want that background. We want to make sure that we are showing the background of what um, are basically this Unreal Engine. And what that means is we got to basically create um, a material. We're going to right click. We're going to go to material. We're going to label this tutorial. I can't spell material so now we're going to double click on that tutorial material we're going to see that all of these are highlighted so we're going to go to our material and surface we're going to change that to post process now we have a missing only thing highlighted now what we're going to do is in here we're going to right click we're going to put in a texture sample texture sample right there and then what we need to do is we need to add a material expression, basically a texture. So I'm gonna click on that. We're gonna type in AI. We have that, we have that there. Now we're gonna label it. We're gonna first off, we're gonna convert this to a parameter. And we're gonna call this toot CG layer. So I got toot for a tutorial and then we're gonna grab our RGBA and run that to the emissive color. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply, save, and we're going to close this out. So we have that there. So now what we're going to do is if we go through our tutorial comp, we have our transform passes. If we open that up, and if you don't have anything, you basically click this add element to make sure you get this. We can leave this the same. We're going to drop this down. We're going to grab our tutorial drop that in there and as you see let me raise this up now we have the background so i have that background there and we have that dialed in so that's an awesome thing that we can be able to see but we want to go a little step further so let me finish dialing things in so now we have our background we understand and see how that's going 
and, and it's only time to try to make it better. So let's say you have elements, right? So I have characters that's going to do things when I hit play, when I hit um, basically what, that I want to move in the background. So when it comes to play this level, what I do is you're going to click on here and you're going to basically click on a selected viewport. And instead of the simulate, you want to use selected viewport. I'm going to grab this. And if I raise it up, we can see in here when I click on that selective viewport. Now I got elements moving. And that's how you would get those things all dialed in. And it shouldn't be any kind of blue or any kind of grain. But that right there is going to be able to manage having how you can output and still hold elements still the same. This pretty much wraps up this portion of the video. Hopefully it helps you get out there, keep creating, and I'll talk to you later.